डॉक्टर मोहम्मद रफी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइबर सिक्योरिटी एट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे आई वांट टू डिस्कस अबाउट नेटवर्क प्रोग्रामिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट सब्जेक्ट इन व्हिच द टॉपिक इज थ्रेडेड सर्वर्स थ्रेड मींस इट इज अ स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ द एग्जीक्यूशन इट इज अ लाइट वेट ऑफ द प्रोसेसर thread is a lightweight the processor a threaded server is a type of server architecture that handles the multiple client request simultaneously by using threads here it is a threads we are using for processing or executing the any instructions for processing the data for executing the instructions will require the threads with help of these other threads only we can process the data here processing processing can be done with help of the multiple thread here is now which is connected to thread 1 thread 1 and thread 2 thread 4 thread 4 thread 5 thread 5 thread 1 thread 2 thread 4 thread 5 thread 3 so multiple other threads multiple other threads so which is processing now we are processing processing means here executing the instruction simultaneously now we can execute the instructions uh, by the by, by supporting of the threads that's why we are saying it as threads uh, or the single lightweight processors lightweight uh, the process uh, which perform the actions here a thread is a smallest unit of a execution within this uh, the process within this uh, the process it is a smallest uh, execution unit it is one execution unit which is executing one the uh, instructions or which is executing one uh, lines of uh, some lines of uh, the codes so within this uh, the process can be done within this uh, the process uh, for executing the instructions now which is enabling the concurrent uh, the operations uh, within a single uh, the program that means at a time the multiple other clients we can requested and performing the, the operations within a single other program that's why the threads which improving the performance or responsiveness of the process with help of these other threads now we can improve the performance or other responsiveness of the process here responsiveness means that means generally the server threaded the server which is receiving the request from the multiple clients so and processing after receiving the request from the multiple other clients the server multi threaded server which process the data with help of the with the supporting of uh, threads here with this supporting of uh, threads the responsiveness can be increased by the from the server especially when dealing with the input and uh, output uh, bound operations that means input we are taking the inputs and uh, producing the output by performing some operations if you want if you are the performing operation means now something the process is uh, going here the process is going the process is going means here the operation the operation is going here that is a thread threads are uh, involved whenever the threads are involved the io bound operations can be can be performed here this is about the overview of the thread servers here 
how we can improve the the performance of the threaded the server the steps generally we are taking client or the browser sending the request to the server that means web application browser so when cpd is sending the request immediately web browser accepting the request then after that server or the processing the steps processing the all these uh, whatever the things now requested that can be uh, processed and uh, responded by the sending uh, the files whatever the files received the requested from the, uh, the client server is other uh, responded like this now by utilizing these uh, the four other uh, steps uh, now we can improve the, uh, the performance in a simple web servers here the process the flow diagram for that improving the the performance is first you have to start and uh, starting for improving the performance and uh, connection accepting the connection once uh, the connection is accepted immediately the the server threaded server can be connected to client here reading the request what uh, the request are send sending by the other uh, client the server threaded server just simply read the request and parse the request that means here parse the request means here whatever the request is read by the client so which is other uh, checking the request is syntactically correct or not semantic or not that means now uh, which which is uh, the giving the meaningful or not every other uh, thing in a parse uh, this the parse request uh, that can be uh, classified and analyzed and uh, finding the files whatever the uh, processing files whatever the the responding files that can be uh, the find and uh, computer header so the processed files responded files that can be stored in a computer header and send header send header here the files the responded uh, the files now uh, responded files that can be sent to the the clients that can be stored in a send the headers and reading the files and sending the uh, the data so it is a loop is uh, the repeated this loop is the repeated continuously reading the files and uh, sending the data to corresponding the, the, that uh, related other clients if it is uh, sending the data to the client if it is uh, the completed then ending the, uh, the process here this is a flow for improving the uh, the performance in a threaded uh, the server by utilizing these other uh, the sequence by performing these uh, the operations now we can improve we can improve the performance of a threads here some of the key points of a threaded uh, server some of the key points of a threaded threaded server here first one is a concurrency concurrency that means what is uh, the concurrency the concurrency is nothing but a which handling the multiple client connections at the same time that means uh, as each the connection is managed by its own thread so it is a concurrency here multiple clients the threaded uh, the server which can handle the multiple uh, clients so this is a threaded server so these the threaded server threaded server which handles multiple users or multiple other clients so user 1 user 2 up to dash dash user o n multiple users so at a time now it can handle and sending for a process sending for other process here the process uh, uh, can be uh, the perform with help of these other uh, uh, the threads for performing the other uh, process threads are the required 
number of other threads that can be utilized and uh, process can be process can be completed the job the process can be whatever the process you know assigned that will be uh, the completed so these after completing this uh, the process uh, now these uh, threaded uh, the server which is responded to the clients responded to the uh, clients responded uh, responded uh, to clients or users responded to clients or clients or user here is next uh, key point is a thread management thread management means the server must manage the creation of threads and uh, execution of threads and uh, termination of uh, threads here is which includes allocating the uh, resources for a thread that is a single thread or multi thread and uh, ensuring the they don't exceed system limitations next uh, key point is a resource sharing resource sharing means threads within the same process share the resources like memory and uh, file handles which can lead to a efficient uh, the communication and data sharing that means here the process whatever the uh, the process you are uh, performing whatever the task we are under doing here is resources can be shared that means uh, the resources the instructions you have to stored in a memory and whatever the instructions you have stored in a memory that can be handled that can be retrieved that files whatever the files you have stored that can be retrieved from the memory and uh, processing that uh, files so that is a threading threading can be done the processing that uh, the files in it uh, uh, we can say it as a threading which can lead to efficient uh, the communication and data sharing however it also necessary to careful synchronization to avoid the race the conditions and the data corruptions next uh, key point is a uh, scalability so in the threaded servers can be scale better than the single threaded server that means so if you take the multi threaded servers we can say it as a uh, these are all the better comparing with the single threaded server so in terms of uh, the processing why because which is handling the number of the simultaneous the connections multi threaded servers are handling the number of the connections here is multi threaded servers now at a time which is handling the user 1 user 2 user o, n here the multiple threads thread 1 thread 2 thread 3 so this is a the server which is handle the multiple the clients or multiple users so at a time that means uh, concurrency mechanism is the implemented and that will be stored in a databases after the storing into the databases uh, the files can be handled and process that file with help of this uh, threading concept here is by utilizing the threading now we can execute the resources whatever the resources now we have stored that can be executed and uh, getting the required output here there are limits to scalability due to the factors like thread overhead and system resources this is about the scalability and uh, complexity complexity generally here which is implementing the threaded servers why because it is a more complex than a single uh, threaded servers due to the need for thread synchronization handling the thread uh, the life cycles and avoiding the issues like deadlocks and uh, raise uh, conditions for example threaded servers are commonly used in a 
many web applications uh, which is requiring the high concurrency such as web servers or the best uh, the example and a database database servers also it is a best uh, the example and real time or the communication systems real time or communication of the systems so these are all the the examples uh, for the handling the threats uh, and uh, avoiding the uh, issues like deadlocks and race uh, the conditions here the overall now if you take the overall threaded servers or the common approach to building the efficient concurrent server applications that can handle the multiple client uh, request so with help of these uh, threaded servers now we can able to handle the multiple other uh, client other uh, request uh, simultaneously at a time here now with help of these uh, servers threaded uh, servers uh, threaded uh, the servers now multiple other uh, clients multiple other uh, clients uh, you can able to handle that is a client uh, one client uh, to up to dash dash uh, client uh, n minus 1 client to n see here n number of other clients n number of other clients uh, now at a time we can access next uh, threaded server diagram threaded uh, servers in a network uh, the programming generally so which is uh, illustrating the architecture or flow of data in a server that means uh, once the threaded server is uh, the receives the uh, the request uh, these are the threaded with the help of this threaded server diagram now we can see the flow of uh, the data how the data is the flowing for the processing how it is requested the for for the the processing now we can very uh, clearly see in this uh, threaded server diagram that uses the threads to handle the multiple uh, the client request uh, simultaneously here is client request uh, that means uh, now which is uh, multiple clients uh, sending the request to the server that is uh, sending the request to the threaded uh, server here is now we can maintain the main thread uh, that main thread here the server has a main thread uh, that listens uh, from incoming client uh, and and thread pool or individual thread upon receiving a request from multiple clients main thread that means here which responds a new threads for each request here is what it is doing which spawns the new which spawns the new threads for each request that means here which is a what it is doing that means now which is uh, the creating which is creating the new threads the main uh, in a thread the pool or individual threads that means now new threads can be uh, the created by receiving the request and uh, assign the request to an existing thread uh, from a pool here is the whatever the whatever the request whatever the request now we have received for, for, from the from the the pulled the thread that can be assigned for processing for executing handling request handling request means here each thread the process its assigned request which is independent that can be allowing for the concurrent uh, the processing response to clients once uh, the request is uh, the processed uh, the thread sends the response back to the respective clients whatever the client no request what are from uh, what are from which other uh, client we have uh, re received the other uh, request for that uh, the respective uh, client now will be responded that is a response to the other uh, client that depends upon the client uh, the server here now we are generally the threaded server can be 
responded. You see, the diagram of the threaded server network. Generally, threaded servers here, the clients which is threaded servers are receiving the request from the multiple clients. Here, for benchmark showing only two clients. These threaded servers which is uh, receives the request from multiple clients, n number of other clients, at a time it can be received simultaneously, which can be received. Client 1 sending the request and client 2 also sending the request. Whatever the request is uh, sent, that can be uh, the process with help of the thread. And here also, which help of the thread, that will be the request is uh, the process and that can be keep in a thread pool. Here also keep in a thread pool. The request can be keep in a thread pool. Here the client 2, here is the client 1 request and a client 2 the request isn't. So the requested that can be main thread. Client 1 request that can be keep in a thread pool and a client 2 request okay, that can be keep in a thread other pool. With the help of this main thread now the threaded uh, the server which is uh, listening the request after listening the request uh, the threaded server which is uh, the process whatever the request is received from the multiple other uh, client uh, so that uh, the request can be uh, the processed after completing the other uh, process which is a response sending the response to again send back the response to multiple other uh, clients uh, at a time so that is a concurrency mechanism, threaded the server, with help of these are the threaded servers or multi-threaded servers, now we can implement the concurrency mechanism, at a time here, number of the jobs can be uh, performed, for example here, now Amazon, if you take the, the Amazon, at a time, so number of the items now, we can say, we can request it, multiple other users are uh, requesting the uh, same other item or different items so at a time they are uh, allocating allocating or uh, requesting they are searching for the, the product at a time so that is a multi-threaded service and at a time will uh, responded the server is other uh, responded if it is the that particular item is available in a Amazon immediately the server will be the uh, responded and receiving the order. Suppose if the items are not available, whatever the requesters are sent, whatever the requesters are stored in a thread of the pool, so that can be rejected. See, this is a, about the threaded server diagram in a network of the programming. Total these are the structure, this architecture now which allow the server, which allow the threaded server to handle the multiple clients at a time. Multiple the client request handled at a time very efficiently by the, the concurrency through the threading process. Why? Because here thread the pool, we are keeping the thread pool with the help of this the threading pool now we can handle. And in this the diagram we are using main thread. Main thread it is utilized as a listener only, which listens for the incoming client the connection. When a client request is arrives, the main thread which handles the initial connection setup. Thread pool or individual threads. Here is each client which request whether is handled by the sparing a new thread, creating the new threads by assigning it to the an existing thread in a threaded pool. Here is these threads run concurrently to process the client request. Processing request. Processing request means here the threads which are handle the business logic which is required to process each request. It include the database operations and uh, computations. Sending the responses. After uh, the processing, the threads uh, sending the response back to the respective clients. Here is the threads, they either uh, the terminate or return to the pool. 
if using a thread pool thread pool it will be the once the respond is uh, sending the response to the other uh, client it can be uh, the terminated or waiting in a pool threaded pool the threaded pool here either terminated or written to the other uh, pool if you are if you are using the threaded pool and uh, web servers web servers web servers means here these uh, threaded servers are commonly used in a web applications web applications are web servers why because which is handling the multiple other uh, clients client request uh, very efficiently what about the web servers multiple other uh, web servers other uh, request can be handled so these web with help of this uh, web servers example which includes apache http server and uh, and nginx which can serve multiple web, web pages at a different user so at the same time so this is a example chart other applications chart uh, the applications uh, are in real time chart applications uh, such as whatsapp now we are using the web servers in a whatsapp why because uh, simultaneously many users are at uh, the chatting many users are sending the messages in a whatsapp slack and uh, discord use the threaded services so this are all the real time application whatsapp slack discords to managing the numerous concurrent uh, uh, chat or the sessions this is a video conference this is also one of the the application of a threaded server the real time that can be utilized so which allows the users uh, to send and receive the uh, the messages instantly without uh, the delay next uh, the application here threaded server application of uh, online gaming so in online gaming also now you can utilize the threaded servers how means now multiple uh, the players uh, uh, that they can uh, the play at a time in a online gaming the number of other uh, players multiple players are other uh, playing so that is a singular that uh, the concurrency mechanism can be uh, the implemented such as the fortnite call of duties world of uh, warcraft use the threaded service to handling the real time the interaction between the players this ensures a smooth other uh, gaming experience uh, with uh, the minimal lags financial trading system here the trading system also we can use the threaded servers why because the, the stock market in a stock market also stock exchanging trading platforms so to process the high volume of the uh, the transactions in a real time at a time now the stocks can be exchanged trading can be uh, performed with the by the multiple users that is a, how it can be uh, the performance uh, that is a multi threaded servers here it tell about this multi threaded uh, the servers there is uh, trading stock exchanges uh, can be uh, executed that can be uh, the performed so it is a very the crucial for executing the the trades rapidly and accurately so this is a financial trading system now in this uh, financial trading system now we can utilize streaming services streaming services means here videos and music streaming services like uh, netflix youtube and uh, uh, spotify use the threaded servers by using these uh, the threaded servers uh, in a netflix uh, youtube so here to stream the content to flow the flowing the other content and transferring the other content the information to the multiple users simultaneously now in a netflix uh, multiple two four the uh, multiple other uh, users they can able to see the the content whatever the content whatever the information or other uh, sending which is enables the users now to watch or listen to content without other uh, buffering iot systems that means here so internet of things the applications uh, such as the smart home systems and uh, the industrial automations here use the threaded servers to manage uh, real time data 
from the, the numerous uh, the connected devices, which ensures the timely responses and uh, updates. Healthcare monitoring also. In healthcare monitoring also now, we can utilize the threaded servers. Here, in real time, the applications, the patients, uh, they can monitor their health regularly. They will check the regularly in hospitals. Uh, so here, in hospitals now, while uh, they checking their health care, health uh, the condition now, we can use the threaded servers. With the help of this, the threaded the server, we can monitor the health of the patients to process the data from various uh, medical other devices uh, concurrently. This allow the health care uh, the professions to receive the immediate updates on a patient conditions. We can display the report to the patients. Online shopping. E-commerce platforms like Amazon, eBay use the threaded servers to handle the multiple user requests for product searches, order platforms and the payment and the processing simultaneously. So that is ensuring a seamless of the shopping experience. So in online shopping also, we can utilize the this threaded service mechanism. Customer support systems. Customer support systems means uh, live chat supports, call centers. So these are all the customer uh, supports. By using the threaded servers now, we can uh, communicate with the many other uh, clients, uh, the multiple other uh, clients to manage the interactions with the multiple other uh, customers uh, concurrently. Providing timely assistance to the customers uh, with help of these uh, threaded servers. Social media platforms. Social media platforms we will see here. These media sites like uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagrams now, we can use the threaded servers to manage the real time uh, the postings and interactions of the content by millions of the users. Now, these users are which are ensuring the quick updates and the notifications. Here, which highlights the, the importance of the threaded servers. Now, which is improving the efficiency of the thread and uh, the responsive service of the threaded servers. Across the various uh, sectors and uh, in a society, various other uh, industries, objectives, mainly the key objectives uh, of a threaded server. Now, that is uh, the concurrency. The concurrency means now handle the multiple client requests uh, simultaneously to ensure that the server can process the numerously the interaction at the same time without the significant uh, delay. Responsiveness. Responsiveness means here which maintain the low response times even under high loaded other conditions, <coughs> which is ensuring that the user, the experience, uh, the minimal uh, the latency and prompt of feedback. With help of this, uh, with, the, with the supporting of this uh, threaded uh, the mechanism, here these threaded servers now, which is uh, response very effectively. Whatever the thread servers we are using, so it will be responded uh, very uh, effectively with help of the thread uh, the mechanism. Sending the feedback process which accept the request, process that request and send the response to the, the respective other clients. The execution, the result uh, process and perform the result, uh, execute, the, uh, execute the resources, whatever the resources are requested in the form of the request that will be executed, send back the, the feedback to the, the respective client and effectively executed. So this is a responsiveness is a, one of the key objective. Scalability, which is efficiently scaled to handle the increasing number of uh, concurrent users uh, and uh, requesters. Here, which grow and accommodate the more traffic 
without uh, degrading the, the performance of the threaded server system. Resource management. Resource management now which is optimize, optimize the use of the system resources. That means here now these are the threaded servers which is utilizing the CPU central processing unit and uh, memories by using these are the memories now storing the files. Content can be the stored whenever, whenever want for the processing that can be retrieved from the, the memory. With the help of this central, with the help of this the processing unit, we can execute the instructions and we'll get the, the output. The effective output will be the get with the help of the processing unit, which is effectively we are getting the result and effectively managing the threads uh, to balance the load and prevent the resource uh, exhaustions. Here is reliability, which ensuring the high availability and fault to fault tolerance. The servers can uh, continue to functioning smoothly, very smoothly, and recovering the uh, quickly from failure and uh, errors uh, of the particular clients or particular other device. That is a reliability. High availability, fault the tolerance that it can be ensured for that. Security means here, which is implementing the robust security measures. With help of these the security measures, now with help of these security measures, which protecting the data in a client or which protecting the data in a server. So and ensures safe the communication between the clients and the server and which is uh, the preventing the unauthorized access from unauthorized users without uh, the authentication if the user want to enter into the system it will be prevented and uh, the potentially which, uh, which has in the breaches that is a sec security which is implementing the uh, secure robust security measures Threaded servers. Threaded uh, servers uh, efficiently which handle the, handle the multiple uh, client uh, connections concurrently. And uh, these threaded servers now which is offering the good responsiveness and uh, moderate uh, scalability. So they, this complexity, so in a synchronization and resource utilization or resource management, High concurrency can be lead to increasing the resource of the consumption. For extreme scalability that can be considered event driven or asynchronous server architecture. The reference, these are the other textbooks, Unix network programming and uh, network uh, the management, uh, the principles and practices, inter, inter networking with the TCP, these are the reference book, textbooks uh, and uh, these are all the web references. So this is about the threaded servers. The help of this threaded the server, we can we can uh, receive the mul request from the multiple other clients and that can be uh, the process with supporting of the other uh, threads and executing the resources and getting the required other uh, result. After getting the required result the threaded servers is responded to the, the respective clients. This is about the threaded server. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.